Who is this? Do you guys know? She's pretty. Hey everybody, it's the Doll Circle. So I've got a kind of doll haul, I guess. I have, I got a bunch of stuff actually, but these are just the dolls that I got because I didn't want to do too much. <laughs> if not, it would have been like an hour long video. To a place called Community Thrift. It's always like a gold mine to me sometimes. Well, there's gems just randomly just lying there. <laughs> so I got two bags of dolls to share with you guys. This is how they sell the dolls. They're wrapped in these epic big bags. There's another thrift store I go to and they have um, smaller bundles, which I personally like better because when you get a big bundle, you're buying this whole bundle. Like there's one doll in here that I want, but I have to buy the whole thing. I feel it's a bit overwhelming. So I'm gonna just cut up into it and share with you guys what we got today. All right, so I cut little slits in. I'm just gonna go into one bag at a time. Hopefully these dolls are somewhat dressed. Now, so a lot of these are going to um, like my friend Matt, or sometimes they'll go to like my mom or me or whatever. Um, sometimes I do go to resell. It just depends on what it is. So this was the one that really stood out in the bag to me. Look how cute. Like, I don't know if this is her original outfit, but most of the things kind of fit. There's like a little bangle on here. I love the little belt. Top's a little crazy, but she's really pretty though. I like her. So comment if you guys know exactly what doll this is. And thank you so much to everybody. Oh, she actually still has her earrings too. They're like little brown dangly earrings. Uh, everybody on Instagram who's been helping me identify dolls, because sometimes I'll be like, I don't know what this is, but she's pretty. And you guys are really, really awesome with that. Thank you so much. <laughs> So here's the first one, we got a Mycene doll. This one, I don't know what she is, but she's wearing a really crazy, oh God, her hair is just crazy. I love her top, I, is this a Bratz top? I think it is. All right, so first off, I have no clue what this doll is. Her hair is, ooh, needs to be brushed, but her face is cute if the camera wants to focus on her face and her tops is misunderstood and it's not even on her the right way I think that's a brat's top I think I don't know comment below and then this doll is very like like a yellow undertone to her skin tone kind of like an olive yellow mix and her face is very interesting so I don't know what she is she's pretty though very pretty face all right ooh, this Barbie's not doing so well Ooh, oh look at this do you, do you hear that? Like, here, listen. <laughs> like, she's she's nude, so I'm not gonna put her in the camera, but her legs are very dangly. She just has like a normal Barbie face. But yeah, she's, she's, ooh, she's, she might not make it very far. <laughs> and then we have this one wearing a skirt. Ooh, modeling, skirt as a dress. Do you not know that you're not supposed to do that? Okay, so two Barbies in the early 2000s, they attempted to do articulation and all it was was just an elbow bend. So here, this is her just bending that elbow and that's all she did. Very simple. <laughs> and that's her face. Yeah, those two Barbies, not doing so good. Now, these are the ones that I was excited about. Oh, look at her. Oh, she's got some hair. She has got some hair. Look at this little Bratz baby. Oh, I love it. Look at it. Oh. So cute! Oh, I love it so much. Now her hair is crazy, but look how cute her face is. Oh, I love it. And I like. I'm glad she actually has a dress that, you know, she actually came with her outfit. But here's another one. Oh, and she's naked. That's okay. Look at these little babies. Oh. So if you guys know which sets these are from, let me know. Oh, we have a Kelly doll that has articulation. Oh, look, she has articulation in her legs and there's a magnet in the back. What is this Kelly? Is she a walking Kelly? I don't know. Again, I don't wanna be <laughs> demonized on the YouTube, so I'm covering them up from being naked. <laughs> I don't want you guys to think I'm like trying to hide them to like, so you guys, I know you're trying to help me identify, but yeah, we have to do that unfortunately. All right, so here's another one. Just has a top, no pants. <laughs> uh, really crazy hair. Cute face though. Oh, we got a Bratz. We have a Bratz and she has a really pretty face. But no clothes or no feet, but that's okay because your face is gorgeous. Yasmin, I don't know which Yasmin. 
And the last Barbie from this box is also naked. <laughs> Unfortunately. And her whole body's all twisted. Ooh, like, see there, all their hair gets really matted, like dreads almost. Like it turns into like when you start dreading someone's hair. And I'm like, I never did that to my dolls. Like, I don't know how they get to this point. Is that humidity and stuff? I don't know. But it's gonna need some love though to get these dolls better. And here's the last Barbie. Yeah, I've never seen any of my dolls do that with their hair, but recently I've been doing, like getting a lot of them and they just, I don't know, they're all like that. Now this doll's interesting. Her legs are a little bent, but I like her face and she's very interesting. Oh, her face is a little squished. See it? Her face is a little squished to the side. Who is this? Do you guys know? She's pretty. She's very rubbery though. Very rubbery. Hmm. So that was for the first lot. Now the second lot, more Brat stuff. Now there's a Brat's Kids and this is a Chloe. Oh, hold on, focus. And she has a painted on swimsuit. No feet, unfortunately. That's okay, I think I might have some spares lying around. She's cute though. She's really cute, I like that. Now this one's a very, I don't know, I think this is just a generic doll. Yes, it is. This was just like in the midst of this stuff and I was just like, hmm. <laughs> guess she's coming with me. I don't know what she is, but yeah, very basic, basic doll. <laughs> I don't think she's any particular brand. And now we have a Monster High doll who again has seen better days. This might turn into like an art piece or something. I feel like like her just being like naked like this, just like no arms, like she's just, it's an art piece. I'm gonna do something with that. Oh, and then with the headband in there, I think she's from the Eagle Spirit line, I think. Yeah, I don't know, I just like the white body. I might do something with that doll. Don't know what I'm gonna do, do something. All right, and we have another Bratz doll. So this one is, because uh, Matt was telling me, he's from the dog walking one. So she has the molded on um, part of the leash, but doesn't have the dog, unfortunately. And then the feet roll. So a little different. I don't remember that coming out. So that when I saw that, I was like, put that on her hand. <laughs> so weird. All right. Oh, oh, geez, Tangled. Whoa. T tangled. Ha ha ha. It's a Rapunzel doll. Didn't even mean to do that. But this one's so heavy. This has to be from when Mattel was making it, right? Yeah, 2006 Mattel. So she's an older one, much, much older. I don't know if this hair can be saved. What do we think? <laughs> Literally, there's things in her hair. But I love that face mold, though. She's so pretty. Don't know if I can save her. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> this is gonna take a lot of love. All right, covering her up. Really long hair on this one. Comment if you know. I'm assuming this is another Yasmin. I've been finding a lot of Yasmins everywhere, you guys, a lot. Oh, I don't know who you are, but you're very happy looking. Mattel, 19, Mattel 1975. Are you that old? I don't know. She's a very strange body shape though. She's very, very like straight limbed. I don't. Here, can you guys see that? Like she's not as curvy as a normal Barbie and she's stamped with a much older date on it. If you guys can identify, I like her hair color and I like how that she's a little, I thought it was a scrunchie, it's a little hair tie. I don't know who this is. I'm assuming it's from a TV show, an actress or something. But it says 1975 on the back. Strange stuff. I don't know why you're wearing weird Olympic looking pajamas. It looks like something from the Olympics. But she has articulation and I think this is from a Winx doll. Oh, I like her. Oh, I like her though. She's a very pretty face. Yeah, I think it's Winx. So comment you guys. Oh, I like her. She's definitely keeping her. Ooh, another. There's just a ton of Yasmins in here. That's all I've been finding is Yasmins. All right. Glittery faced Yasmin. And if they're not all Yasmin's, I'm really sorry, but they all look like her though. They all look like Yasmin dolls. They really, really do. Ooh. Oh, oh my gosh. This is so sad that she doesn't have her regular clothes on. Does she have anything on her feet? No, oh, that's sad. Because this is the um, Blondie, is it Blondie? Oh, I don't know. This is the Barbie Collector doll. 
See how she's blonde and then the black undertones? I want to say it was the Barbie Collector line for, um, for Blondie, the singer. I want to say that's this doll. Oh, I'm gonna have to look it up, but she definitely looks like one of the, like, Barbie Collector dolls. Oh, I'm gonna try to clean up her face, because I love that hair. I love that undertone stuff. And then we have, oh, she has mismatched shoes. That's so funny. And her top is half off. Honey, you are just disheveled. But she has all her limbs and her face is in great shape. Well, we have a lip doll. Well, I haven't seen one of these in a thrift store in a minute. That is for sure. Look how cute she is though. Let's see if I can get her to focus. Oh, at least her face is good. That's always concerning me when they got pen marks on the face. I'm always like, oh no, I hope not. But she's really cute though, really cute. And then she has jeans and some shoes on. So that's the last one. So yeah, a good 12 minutes of just opening dolls. So I'm looking at a lot of crazy hair. That's for sure. So if you guys know any of the names, comment below. I mean, some of these I'm keeping, some of these I'm regifting. Uh, some of these I might try to fix up and resell. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> I mean, and I hope you guys don't mind on Instagram. I have been posting, if you guys are interested in buying anything, you can just swipe up and it'll link you right to my eBay store. Um, I mean, it just helps me fund the, the the doll circle in general to keep making more videos because unfortunately the YouTube isn't a big money source for me so yeah I hope you guys don't mind and I always have, hope you guys help me out I appreciate it and it's a lot of fun and I'm going to try to go back to that store as much as I can and share some of the goodies with you guys <laughs> thanks for watching bye